Do you ever make choices? Well, that's a silly question. We make choices every day. I'm gonna have that big sundae with ice cream and chocolate. I'm choosing that. We all make choices. But we have a choice to make apart from friends, apart from family, and that's the choice of choosing Jesus. Of saying, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I've asked him into my heart. The Lord hands that up, puts out his hand to us. There we go, a little 3D action. He puts out his hand to us and invites us to come to him. Revelation 3.20 says this, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. He holds out his hand to us. Now, I understand when we look at Jesus, he chose the apostles. He chose the apostles, but the apostles also had to respond and go, okay, I'm going with you. That's what we need to do as well. The Lord holds out his hand to us, and it's up to us if we're going to grab his hand or push it away. Going to church does not mean you've grabbed that hand of Jesus. Only a commitment to Jesus, believing in him. We have to respond to the offer that Jesus makes us. I'm so glad I chose Jesus because, you know, he also chose me. My relationship with Jesus is the best thing in my life. That reminds me, sometimes people ask me, Vinny, how do you stay so grounded in this crazy world? I just tell them, well, uh, gravity. Ha, ha, ha. As Jesus has shown himself as God in human flesh, sent to offer himself as the final sacrifice for our sins, offering forgiveness of sins and eternal life. We need to respond to that uh, with our heart and not just our head. We can say, oh, I know all these facts and I memorize these verses, but we need to respond not just with our head, but with our heart as well. Let's look at it this way. It's going to break down the gospel really simply. Romans 10 verse, 10, verse 9 through 10 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the, one, with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You must believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and you will be saved. You must confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to say it, you got to believe it. Confess and believe with your heart that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus died for us, he rose again. It leads to salvation. And also confessing that, hey, I know I'm a sinner. We're going to get into that towards the end. Confessing and believing with your heart leads to salvation. And now it's time to dig deeper with Dudley. Well, the best tool I have is by Bible. Mm -hmm. The tools I have in my tool bag can fix things on earth, but they will eventually break anyway. God's word will fix things in our hearts. Yeah. Tools are fix stuff down here, but God's word fixes things down here and eternally, eternally, internally, and in our hearts. Yeah. Always remember, when you dig down deep, you gotta hit rock. And Jesus is our rock. Yeah! Romans 10, 13 puts it like this. Whoever calls the name of the Lord will be saved. <coughs> Bam! You call the name of the Lord, you're gonna be saved. If you have never prayed a prayer to receive Christ and chosen Him as He has chosen you, then what I want to do right now is I'm going to pray a prayer um, which is simply asking Jesus into your heart. And you can just repeat it along with me. So we're going to do that right now. If you've never received the Lord uh, Jesus as your Lord and Savior, well, we're going to pray for that right now. And repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I love you. I know that I'm a sinner and I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I believe you died 
and rose from the grave, I know that you are God in human flesh. And I want a relationship with you. I pray you come into my heart right now. In Jesus' name, amen. In the book of 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says, Whoever is in Christ Jesus is a new creation. If you've prayed that prayer for the first time, you are a new creation. You're new. So, again, choose Jesus. And not just by praying this prayer and choosing Him once, you, you, you receive salvation, don't get me wrong. But daily choose to seek Him. Daily choose to be in His Word. Okay? Seek Him daily. Get yourself a Bible. Have mom and dad buy you a Bible. If you know me personally, I'll get you a Bible. And dig into God's Word. So exciting that we get to respond to the offer Jesus gives us. God bless you. Have a wonderful week in Him.